three ways. One is this world is real and all things are practical. So let us be practical. And another one is one supreme being, Amiji. He is the super commander of everything. So nothing is in our world control. Let us make the victory. And third one is Himalayan Bhagavati Prasanni Sri Kirtani. So we let us try our best to please him. Nothing is impossible. Then we are able to get his grace, his anugraha. So let us be positive. So be practical and surrender to him and be positive. We have to remain, remember these words again and again. And Ebum Deepa, let us come to the practical thing. So, how we have to let Deepa and Ebum So, the thing is, anything, every day, we have to begin our day lighting Deepa and Ebum We may have any birthday celebration or any puja in the house. Before doing any other preparation, we suggested that light Deepa and we have to begin any event, anything, lighting Deepa in the beginning. So, there are some particular things we have to follow. Sajyam Deepa Bhutisai Yukta How to offer Deepa? Deepa, as I told you before, so that is considered as having been the presence of God Himself. So, we have to be very powerful in particular things. So, we should use Bhakti, Kata Mitch, not Shingal, Satya, Kriva, Nisimta, three together. So, we are not supposed to like Deepa with Shingal, Kata Mitch, or Shingal Bhakti. We need three has to be there. So, that is one thing. And always, Deepa has to face east, west, or north. It has to face east, west, or north, never towards the south. So, normally, we like, like this single Deepa, that is fine, with three continents together. If you want to like, you know, Nowadays we may find big Deepa which is having the facility of five bhakti. So this is particular way. Five Deepa, it has to face specifically five directions. One towards east, second towards so you know, like we are lighting five Deepa, east, west, north, south, and fifth one should face north east. North East, Ishania. So if you are having three Deepa, not the way that we are going, or whatever the way, you know, it has to be in particular way. East, West, South, South, and King to the East, towards North East. That is the, you know, the system of having five Deepa. And so, what, what are the materials we have in this? So, during the lighting Deepa, Deepa, Apanye, so, as we respect Deepa as the presence of God Himself to bringing the awareness of right knowledge or bringing that sacred and uh, purifying the promises in right knowledge. So, we have to keep something under the Deepa. Deepa must have to be able to do to directly on the flow. You should have something. And Aha. And Krita Dhailena Vishwari. It can be the, we can have Deepa with the key. That is the first option. And Karna, the best. And second one is Taila. Taila means Tesanoi. That is considered as official. So, Taila Krita means the presence of Lakshmi is there. Deepa, presence of Nanaya. So, 
the knowledge about the existence of a supreme being, the Lord, and how the Lord controls us, how we have to pay our uh, pray the Lord, pay our gratitude to the Lord, how we should lead our lives in a fruitful way. This kind of knowledge is not there for the animals, but it is there for human beings. But if human beings give up that knowledge, or the desire to have the knowledge, lead a life without knowledge, then there is no difference between humans and animals. So if we want to maintain the true difference, if we want to have the real benefit, then we have to have this light, not in the outside, but inside of us. Light the lamp of knowledge, acquire knowledge, and see how it makes you feel a kind of a satisfaction all through existence. And people say, well, we are so busy with our daily lives, we have jobs to do, we have to run around, we have to bring up our children, we have to... There are so many things, materialistic things to do. So if you say that we have to learn about the philosophy, learn about God, learn about all these things, we don't have time. So what do we do? Why, you know, I know, it is not waste of a time. So, but the greatness is this, the knowledge, it helps us even during our process, it's not that you have to stop the rest of the things to gain the benefits of knowledge. It goes back every act that you do, think about how God is making you do it. In everything, see the presence of God. And you know, like we, we heard today, like we went through a lot of rituals, people say, oh, okay, if you have more knowledge, then why do you do the rigmarole of rituals, you know, all this, um, you know, Namkarana, all the ceremonies, rituals, why do you need them? You don't need any rituals. Acquire knowledge, right? So, acquire knowledge, think about it, meditate or whatever. So, we don't want any rituals. Some people say that. Think about it. If somebody, is, you know, I ask somebody, get me milk. But don't use any container. Just get me milk. So, can they get the milk to me? They say, hey, wait a minute, I have to have uh, something that holds the milk. You know, I can't just get the milk without any container. I need a container. They are sitting on these rituals, they are like containers. If you do only the rituals and the ceremonies without the knowledge behind it, then it is like getting an empty container without any milk. You want the container to hold the milk and you want to get it also, you want both. So that's what it is. The samskaras that you do, the ceremonies that you do, the rituals that you do, why do you do them? What is the purpose behind it? Why do you go through them? If we understand them to it, then we are having the benefit of having both the container and the milk. That's what we concentrate on. So we have to have this true knowledge. So how do we acquire true knowledge? The best way that's given described in the Shastras is go to be a teacher. There are so many people who teach. So how do I find a good teacher? So people will give confusing messages. We go to one word, first one he says, do like this. Then other person says, oh no, 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 don't do like that, do like this. So now it's all confusing. Each one gives their own message. So how do we know what is right, what is wrong? God has given a basic intelligence to us. Use your intellect and see what is right, what is wrong. How do we test? What does it must test? Now the, they say Guru. Guru means teacher. Bukhara, Yantakarasya, Bukharasya, Virodhaka, Anthakara, Virodhaka, Guritya Vidiyate. The true Guru is one who removes your ignorance. So when somebody tells you to do this to this, ask the question, why should I do that? If the person gives the convincing answer, this is why we have to do this. If you get convinced, then that means it is the right thing that Guru is telling you. So, but there is another problem in that. When we go to somebody, they tell, okay, do like this, and they give a convincing answer, you get convinced. Somebody gives totally contradicting thing and that person also convinces you. Then you are in a dialogue. Now I go to two persons. This person says something and I get convinced. That person says totally different thing, totally about don't do like this, do like this, and he is convinced me, I get convinced there also. Now what do I do? I end up again in a confusion. So how do I decide? Then it's another thing. Put both of them together. If they are really something that are not self-contradicting, then both of them can be right. 
But if they are really self-contradicting, if you are convinced of both, that means there is something wrong in your logical thinking. Because if they are self-contradicting, only one of them, you cannot have 2 plus 3 plus 4, 2 plus 3 is not equal to 4. Both cannot be equal at the same time. If two people give two different things and if they are contradicting each other, only one of them can be right, both cannot be right. So God has given you an intellect. Think about it, analyze it, and then arrive at the right conclusion. So this is how you do that in your life and in your daily life, in every act of your uh, performance, whatever you do, you know, to your children, to send to the schools, teach the right values, teach the real purpose of God. Why do we need God in our lives? One major thing that we need God in our lives is because He is the only independent force. Because we don't have freedom. We can experience that in our life. You know, I want to do this. That doesn't happen. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't happen. So we see that there is no control over things for us. Some external force, some supreme force is controlling everything. So this realization has to come in our lives. So that realization comes only with proper thinking and analysis. So you have to use this knowledge and you don't have to really you know, kind of get out of your activities, you continue all your activities, do them, but do them with the proper understanding of why you are being and how God is playing his role. My father in the stories tell, tell me there is an invisible hand. In everything, that hand is working and it is invisible hand. You don't see it, but it is working in every way, every action. That invisible hand is there and the moment you realize the presence of that invisible hand and the supreme control that it is having, then you will try to strike the change. You will do everything with the total dedication of God. That is the goal, the prime goal of life is just dedicate everything that we do to the Lord and see Him in every action. For doing that, you don't have to give up all your activities. You do it in all your activities, but have proper thing. And some spare time available. Spend that time in your ritualistic activities, but not with the pure ritualistic mind, but with the understanding that these rituals, ceremonies, because they are the essence of our scriptures where our great saints have realized the significance of these activities and they have taught us first do these activities, get their significance to proper gurus and then you will really make your lives fruitful and that will give you the real jnana, right? And I wish to pray the Lord and uh, the great tip that we have here is that like, this kind of an institution is here for us and we can turn to it for all our kind of uh, religious activities. That's the great tip that is given by God to so make the best of it and get the light. Light that light outside and inside and may this Deepa guide you all through your lives and if the Lord uh, see Krishna to guide all of us and Illegal is and Hari to start the Samskara. So just realize that we made one mistake. In Gita Sloga, Sakta, God, we have to be real. So please connect with me. And uh, next week also we are coming as Sloga only. So again, uh, coming to the Deepa, another thing I wanted to try to talk about. Again, coming to Deepa, so in any reason, we may need to turn off Deepa because as in practical life, so we have to push the mail. We cannot Deepa, keep Deepa like lighting because of any other reason. So how do we just follow? We cannot go and we cannot wait until you know, Deepa is uh, up. So how do we just follow? There is one thing, you know, they call, you know, Shanta, Deepa, Prashamanam, Shanta. 
So men are not allowed to tell our people, but ladies are okay in that kind of situation. So not by you know putting in a hair in our mouth. So dip that deepa into like a, um, to the oil or ghee and turn it down. That is not in like you know, during Bhagavati and everything, so we have to turn it down. That is totally spread. We are not talking about deepa only. If you may have any other questions, you are welcome to ask. So our intention is to get the significance because this is for especially for our mothers, children may ask you many questions. You are welcome to ask any question to us. We will try our best to convince you with right answer. And now we are having the next step which is meditation, dhyana. During this time, we had to focus on our mind. Uh, again, after the dhyana, our monkey is going to give. So, like uh, a small talk on how to have that uh, concentration, how to bring concentration to our mind. Anyway, now we are doing that dhyana. Take any duty, uh, any part of Governor, he is only present, but we have limitation. But still, he creates us with his mini avatars, with Agama Shastra. Now, in simple way, let us take the form of Satyana. Right? Let us try to have that image in front of our eyes, in our eyes. So, now, let us try to and close our eyes and try to catch up with that image that is in front of us. How can we do that? Let us have that image of our eyes in front of us. So, who is Shukla Harmony having that bright color of that green color and Chakra Bhujan more than he is having Chakra, Chakra, Kata and Padma So let us listen to that the background of the Uma Narayana and concentrate our mind on that Uma Narayana for two minutes.
I really have a uh, problem dealing with this person. How do I deal with this person? My guidance to that person was change that mindset. Don't say the person is a problem. Say the person is in a difficult situation. You are not dealing with a problematic person. You are dealing with a person who is in a problematic situation. The moment you do that, the person becomes pure. The situation becomes challenged. Now start addressing the situation. See where the green lights are in that situation. And pass through that. So again, just for today, any time there is an interruption of energy, that's when conflict begins. Let that flow of energy happen as much as possible. And that's what happens with your mind. By digging your body, you don't know find your mind, it is virtual. So your mind, my mind, her mind, his mind, they are all integrated. And that is why I call it spirituality. It's all integrated, that's exactly what happens. Now my mind is being influenced by the clock. <laughs> that is stopping. That's it. Becoming 6 o'clock now. See, I'm sitting at the clock and say, but I'm interrupted now by that clock energy. With that, I'll pass this on now to Yogan Vijay and then to Vanishwara. So, you know, obviously I'm very critical of the time. But as today, the first session, we have you know, crazy people, 30 minutes. So, we started 20 minutes late then because we want to have this you know, uh, program going on and last long, very long time. So, the first time the delay of 20 minutes. So, now we are having another uh, next step, which is Hajams. Let us involve in this just pricing law and have consultation, let us try to bring consultation, forget all other things here and let us surrender to him by singing this.
Thank you. 